Hello folks, welcome back. Um, all I'm going to say right now is, thank goodness we have the cup final coming up. Roll that intro. Hello again. Um, as you could probably tell by the very blase um, introduction there, we bottled the league. Sorry to put it. So let's go over recent fixtures. Let's show you how we bottled the league. Then we'll go play Kukraki in the cup final. See you all in a second. So I believe this is the last game that you've seen. It was a 5 1 game. But then bet Rad 3 2. And right there, I was thinking, these wheels are coming off. I came in the division below. I would have beat them an extra time. Maybe they're just a bit spirited. And then we lost to TSC. I was like, right, okay. We then bet Zlatibor 2-1. I thought, brilliant. We're stalling for this league. Final against Spartak. Absolutely amazing. We're stalling for this league. Bakva, 2-0. Yes, we're on for the league. Then we lost to Vojdjabina. B1. And we end up finishing second. Parzan won their last game. So I'm just going to show you this. We literally bottled that league. There. The it only shows you the Premier League phase, so if I change it to final phase, Group A, it was Partizan and ourselves. Last game, we bottled it. All we needed to do was win. All we needed to do, and we couldn't even win. So, main thing is we've got the cup final to look forward to. Hopefully we can bring home some silverware. But if you enjoy the fact that I've bottled something, and I'll have actually hibs it with a series, then make sure that you leave a nice big thumbs up. A subscription, whatever you fancy. Because, guys, if you're enjoying this, I'm enjoying this. And I'll tell you what, I'm enjoying this. So, let us know. Let's go pick this team for the cup final. So, I might have a think over the summer about a new tactic or a new way of playing because I've noticed that when we play goal, we don't seem to do the best in the league. Because two seasons we've done control possession and we've lost the league. I'm maybe not going to recommend it. Anywho, team for the cup final is Canucks and Goals. Digging it, so you can't see it left back. Solid. Centre back with Vera. The Panovic is out on the right. Illich, Panic, Nikolic. They're midfield three. On the wings, Rostanovic, Budasovic. And then up front, on is Jack Jones, Tedic. On the bench for the final is Stelikov, Isev, eh, Stevanovic, Shukic, Maroyu, who is leaving us. Rudin and Magosha. So, there's a the team. Let's get into this. Let's go see Kukraki's uh, team sheet. Let's go. And there is the lineup. They've got Sapic, I recognise. Babic. Stankovic, maybe, recognise. That's all I can really notice straight off the bat. Um, do remember, folks, that because it's the end of the season video, we'll be doing the end of the season awards. So make sure that you stay around and watch that. If your favourite player was the fans' favourite player. Um, and also, I'm going to go do my team talk. You guys on the pitch. So I actually found out something interesting. Um Hedic has now got a hundred league goals for us. So he's been here on loan for and now playing for us. I think this is the fourth season. He's averaging twenty-five goals a season. I mean I would love a striker that could do a forty goal season. But in the modern world that isn't viable I'd say. But twenty five goals per season essentially is amazing. So if you're looking for a striker who isn't World class, but he's a bit below. I I can't get Terich if I was you. Honestly, I think he's absolutely amazing. I think he'd suit totally in English football. He'd suit French football. He'd suit, he'd suit German football to the T. So, guys, he's worth a scout. If you've not done it already, go find him. And same goes for Stevanovic. Same goes for Illich. Basically, if they're sterbing and they've been at Man City, have a look at them. That's all I can say. They've, they guys have done really well. Okay, so it's a corner for Kukaraki and it's over. Woo! That's fine, I'm going to go to Manmore. We've done absolutely nothing. And it's embarrassing. Because we're doing so well early on in the season and then we've just fallen apart right at the end. However, next year it does mean that we're in the Europa League rather than the Champions League due to the. Oh, Janic! Due to the way the leagues rise and fall in the coefficients. So we are going to be in the Europa League. I think we'll go straight into the Europa League group stages. I'll confirm that after the game. I'll have a look at the league and see what it says. 
But if that is the case, then brilliant. However, I mean, one of those things. I will be playing slightly easier teams, right? Than what we've been in the Champions League. But I'm not going to make as much money as I would in the Champions League. However, I'm not guaranteed to get through the group stage in the Champions League because of how far back we've had to start. So hopefully, with our performance this year in Champions League, and I don't know how the other seven teams got in Europe, I've not really checked. Hopefully all that wrapped in it one will put the coefficients back up. But I want to put your bottom dollar on it, put it that way. Right, half-time team talk. See you guys at the second half. Alright, so I've, I've left it a few minutes because I wanted to see if anything would happen, but I don't even have a single highlight in the second half, and it's only six minutes old. However, about one highlight, you get kind of worried. Like Right now I'm thinking, right, what do I need to change? Although Pjanic with a free kick, and oh, it's just over. Right, this time I'm... You know what, I'm going to encourage them. I'm also going to be um, subs here. Early subs, so way forward. Think about it. So, got center back on the yellow, right? Dev, you're coming on. I'm going to swap you two around. Oh, why did I do that? There we swap they two. And I think I'm going to make that decision here. Eric Rudden is going to come on. As a youngster we brought in from Hibs, who's been here for a few years. Here a couple of appearances here and there, but nothing substantial. Been out on a few loans, but now it's time to get this young Scottish lad into the team. And yeah, I've got a anyway, jumper that's got holes at the side for my pumps. Anyway, get this young lad into the team, get him bloody in, because I think he's a good talent. Um, and I do think that he's going to light the world up for us. He just needs that opportunity. And we're still not done anything. I think now it's time for a wing swap. And I'm looking at the wing, and it's going to be our 6.8. Militin's coming off, and I'm going to bring on Zukic. Just simply because he's a youngster. But well, Ellich just put the ball in. Bikovic is quite it. That's the end of that highlight. Great, fantastic. So, this might be a first. This might be an extra time. Um, there have been cup final. I've never had one of them. Praying that we don't do anything stupid. I don't know if I get any extra subs, or what the scenario is. We've dominated them. Look at that, 18 shots, oh no, 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 oh, thank my lucky stars, thank my lucky stars, uh, so yeah, we've had 18 shots compared to their four, seven on target, so we're not hitting the back of net, that's not good enough, I need to change something, we spend spend preseason, come up with a tactic that you guys will see tomorrow, because this comes out on Monday, I'm, I'm recording these in advance, so yeah, see it on uh, Tuesday if I come up with a new tactic, I'll change to, let's say, Gagan Press. I don't think I will change the Gagan Press. I don't think I've got enough uh, natural fitness and things like that. Do that, but have a look. I do think that we sort of pass and style, if I'm honest. Because that's what. Ooh, pass, pass, pass. So maybe back to Tick Attacker. I do like a Tick Attacker. Who doesn't like a Tick Attacker? Attacker's good, it's attacking. One more to say, there's all these amazing things in it. There's players I picked up a yellow card. I don't care. In numerous players, it's four. That's not numerous, that's four. Numerous would be seven of my players have had to be a yellow card. Four. I've done anything. Absolutely. Get rid of Jack. I'm going to man more. Great for there. I mean, maybe I should up it to attacking. I'm going to see if I can get another sub. I doubt it, but I think I might try two up top. Look. Bring anyone else on? Uh, it would be for you. No more subs. Okay. That's fine. It's worth a try. You know, what's the worst thing you can do in life? Not try. Well, let's just try. This is going to go to penalties, isn't it? I've got a bad feeling this is going to penalties. Can you see me put the ball between the posts? And into the net. Oh, the highlight. Right, Zegan just picked it up. Stanovic. Oh, Tedich! Mm. Inches. Inches. Of, that's probably closer than an inch. That's probably centimetres, but you know what I mean? Inches away. And there we go. Penalties. Right. I'm going to go collect them. Come back for the first penalty. There we go. Pjanic up first for us. And. Go. First penalty away. Okay, they've got. The catch. And they scored. Okay, 1-0. Penalty shot. Kedic's turn. 
Come on, son. Smash it. Smash it. Smash it. There we go. Stolen the lead. Brimma. Brimma Oh, it's saved by Kranix. He saved one against Juve. Now he saved this one in the final. Right, we've got a lead. He saved. There you go. He didn't even take a run up. He just went, uh, 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 uh. bang. That's how you do it. Okay, okay, okay. It's st we're still winning 3 2. Okay, did you catch? Come on, son. We run up and. Oh, okay. Okay, we need to save this. Come on. Perfect. Okay, unlucky, Kranix. Unlucky. Right. We need to score this one. Come on, Alex. Yes, well done. Right. The last penalty. Come on. Kranix. It's up to you. Come on. Got some silverware. We deserve it. Okay. Sunday. Stepanovic is up first. Okay. Okay. Right. Next up is. They are. Who is it? Who is it? It's Stepic. Okay. 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 Stegenich. Your turn, my laddie. Sorry, I don't normally like watch a penalty, so for me to commentate on them is pretty hard. Okay, uh, Simonovic, it's up for him. What does he do? Saved! We won! Yeah! We've got silverware! Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Oh, we've got. See, this is. Although we've not won the league, this is a bit of justice for us. Because this is silverware that we should have had. So, yeah. Brilliant! We've got silverware. Champions of Serbia's Cup? Well, that includes all teams in Serbia, so technically we're the champions of Serbia. Ah, see? Boom, there we go. Right. Oh, that's good. Hopefully that'll keep the board off my back, because I know they've been digging the ice pick in there because, you know, didn't win the league. Right, who's going to do the cartwheel? Let's find out. My money's on Kranix. Oh, go right, Kranix on the cartwheel. Right, guys, I'll see you at the end of season review. Don't go anywhere. Here we are. Um, this year there's only one trophy, unlike last year's two. That's unfortunate. So let's get into these new arrivals. This is how the new ar arrivals have lined up. As you can see, the best average rating goes to David Nacknell, who got a 10.7 in his one game. Doesn't really count, so we'll then go down to Kedic, who in 48 games got 42 goals, 12 assists. So that means he was involved in 54 goals, 7.48. Vera came in in January, done really well, 7.22. Stefanovic spent some of the season injured, but still involved in 18 goals in his 20 appearances. Not bad. Stefanovic, who was just a free transfer, done really well. Kranix has done okay, right. He said he's done fine. So, the new arrivals look like they've gelled in pretty well, I would say. But now let's go into season results and what I've got to say. So, start with the league and we got a D. Now, it only shows you the first part of the season, right? Fair enough. Uh, point out only achieved the top half finish, but we're in the top two, so runners up. Another achievement is compounded by the fact that we look like we're going to be title chat. Yeah, we did, I'm not gonna lie. Don't need to know anything about that. Now, the Champions League, we were expected to reach the group stage at minimum. We reached the group stage, and the board delight with that. Happy days. Um, that result had even been a draw, it would have been completely different. If, 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 were, if were fishies or whatever, if fishies were fishies, there will be an ocean. Whatever it is, it's what it is. Top final, won it. Boom. C plus. So you wanted us to win it, we won it, and we got C plus. I never understand that. Right? That's what it is, though. As you see, we were very consistent. 3 0, 3 0, 3 0. 2 0. 0 0. So we scored 11, exceeded, uh, what's that? 2. So bad. Right, let's get on to. Moments to remember. Biggest win. Well, you see it on um, camera. 8 now against Latibor. That was, what, two episodes ago? So make sure you go back and check that one. That was a good episode. Uh, what match to remember was the 6 now against Radnik. And the goal of the season was for Milotic against uh, Graficar in the cup. Brilliant. Finances. Do you want to see that? Yeah, let's show you the finances. So, sponsorships down, even though it's the same. Broadcast revenue. 
that's down, but that's because we didn't go to far in Europe. Corporate hospitality, that's up because we were running Europe. Competition prize money, that's gained because the Champions League that will go down next year, obviously, because we're in the Europa League. Hey ho! Actually, commercial and retail, that's went up because of Champions League, obviously. Um, right, merchandise. 15,000 shirts have been sold, or nearly 16,000. Top sellers, Terich, Vrasalovic, Pjanic, Zhukic, Rostanovic. What does that tell me? It tells me the fans like the players I'm playing. Let's go see how we lined up. So it's shown the 4 3 3, and it's saying that our top XI was Tanix, Finley, Stepanovic, Deganic, Isev, Pjanic, Kulic, Alic, Stanovic, Vrasalovic, and Terich. Now, I do think that if we had Finley at the end of the season, we would have won. Simple as that. But it's just unfortunate. You know what? In this game, it is what it is. Injuries happen. To adapt. We didn't adapt. I didn't adapt. So I do apologise, okay? To all the Kev Nobelli fans. But let's move on to the accolades. Right, let's rattle through this. The fans, player of the season was Slobberan, Tedit. Young player was Illich, you know he's 24, but alright. Signing, Terich, I thought that would be the case. Goal of the season, Milotic's. Top goal scorer, Terich, 39. Most assists, Nikolic, 12. Okay, so I need someone that's more creative. Yo, that might be coming in the summer. Who knows? Player match awards, Terich with 7, unsurprisingly. And high average rating, Terich with 7.6. Record breakers, Terich with 42 goals. Most league goals, Terich with 39. Uh, most goals by player match, Terich with 5. Goals by player match, 10 HP5, worst discipline, 11 yells and 1 red. Okay, what did you say? Right, let's go to history in the making. So, got the Serbian Cup, brilliant. And what what does the Serbian football say? Sorry, I'm getting blue, this is for my, my mic. Kev Nobelli suffered a disappointing campaign, finishing shy of the pre season and were ultimately unable to capitalise on opportunities that came in their way throughout the season. Yep, they're correct, I'm not going to lie. So, ending on that high note, um, let's just say goodbye. Make sure that you've liked, shared, and subscribed to this one. Don't need to share it, but if you know someone who wants to watch it, brilliant. I would just like to say thank you to every single one of you who have joined me throughout this, and I will see you for Season 6 of Red Star Belgrade tomorrow. But anyway, guys, take it easy. Thank you for spending your Monday night with me. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye now.